I guarantee the people who work there were just like, who the fuck are these guys again? The comments Austin made, those were the things that concerned me the most. The world does not revolve around you. Every time they want to talk to their mum about something really personal, she pulls out the video camera. I've been sitting here talking about the Ace family for like half an hour, I'm already annoyed. I guess, so today, today's part two of discussing the Ace family. Last time I discussed charity clickbait, the breaking, the jet ski, the dick lollipop, um, and also him, you know, copyright striking and not paying creators. So, if you missed that, I'll make sure to link it below. <laughs> Let's get into them trying to be normal people, shall we? I've actually seen, what was it, Ollie somebody? He'd done something similar where he worked at McDonald's for a day. When you say a day, it's more like probably two, three hours. Is that Ollie working at McDonald's? Oh, hi, sir. How are you Bye. doing? How can I help you today? Welcome to McDonald's. That acting. That deserves an Oscar nod. And actually, the range is probably getting it under everyone's feet. But his family were so excited that we're going to work, I think, in the US, like minimum wage restaurant job. I'm not trying to demean that those roles. I still have a lot of respect for servers. I had before, I'd still do now. I used to work as a waitress. I have a lot of respect for servers. I don't even know where to start with this because there was just so many comments that I agreed with. Why are you acting like that? Because they were just like, oh my God, guys, we're working in a normal job. We're like you guys. Oh my God, this is so cool. We are literally working right now at a restaurant. Yes, like, we are. Austin has been making food for the past hour and Wow, one, did you act worse? Secondly, it's just so demeaning to anyone in that kind of job. And I guarantee they probably annoyed the people that worked there so much. Especially considering Austin, he kept like eating half the stuff or he was off like on his phone, slacking off all the time. And I guarantee the people who worked there were just like, who the fuck are these guys again? I don't get paid enough to deal with this shit. This is hard. Oh, oh excuse me. Huh. No, you can't eat in the kitchen. Oh, I wish I could just uh, eat one of these. Very Thing is, when I order this, I want extra of this. So I'm gonna give this person extra. Oh, you gonna pay for it? Uh, oh. Are you gonna pay for the extra? Oh, you gonna pay for extra? I'm just checking on it. Came to back here to grab some booty and get a kiss. All right. Well, away, I need to stay motivated. See, if I'm gonna see that out of the job, both of you are gonna be fired. <laughs> You know that. Alright, baby, see you a little bit. Yeah, I'm just making sure. Jesus, I can't even get some love. Wow, that looks so good. I'm watching you on the side. I'm not gonna lie. Taking a break? No, I'm not. Are you watching your pizza, by the way? Your pizza is already burnt. <laughs> Trash? And they just didn't get it, right? They never get it. Influencers get to a certain point. Apparently nothing can touch them. Their choices apparently can't be questioned. They can't be criticised. It's one of the things that I found really difficult to stomach. There was a video of Austin and his daughter. Now again, his daughter's really young. I don't know the daughter's age. They were rating Catherine's Halloween outfits. Sometimes mommy like looks like a little too good, you know? Like she looks like And like I don't like other people to see her like that. And like I don't like other people to see her like that. And like I don't like other people to see her like that. Are we even surprised anymore? They're they're still out of touch. And they've used the word seductive on a video with their kid in it. I mean considering this kid is very young made me uncomfortable the video just makes me really uncomfortable like why is he doing this and why do they have to involve the kid even if you got rid of the kid and you made this video anyway you're uploading it to a family channel with that thumbnail and title and, it, and it's just it rubs me the wrong way because you want to be making videos for what kids a younger audience and you're making them like that i can't remember off the top of my head what the outfits were because to be honest the comments austin made those were the things that concerned me the most. Casper, what are you doing? Yeah. It was...
was the comments Austin was making that concerned me. Um, I think Mama's gonna come out yeah. as a sexy cop. Oh, come on, mate. <laughs> oh my god! Your kid's still in the room, Austin! I think the next one is going to be a sexy cheerleader. Come on, mate! Oh, you like it? Yeah, that's so sexy. Okay. Oh, Austin, please stop. I love this one. Ooh! Ah! <laughs> you like this one? All right, well, he, he didn't say it that time. He just, um, he just did that. Why would you ever, I mean, again, I'm not a parent, but things like cute and beautiful or gorgeous, those kind of descriptions for a mother, the presence of her child, those are the kind of descriptions that I would expect. Things like sexy kind of crosses the line for me. I think it made a lot of people uncomfortable considering uh, the video is now deleted. So I think that says a lot. The other kind of like inappropriate behavior, it could be the background. I've seen this kind of behavior in other certain ethnicities. So I'm not trying to say this is or isn't bad. It's just personally my opinion. Austin smacking his Again, young daughter's butt. Oh God, I can't. I think it was kind of in a playful manner, but I don't know, like, I'm not trying to say he's doing anything with his kid or anything like that. It's just, I just don't know whether that stuff should be on the internet, you know? I can understand that kind of stuff, again, being in your home, being playful with your kids, fine. But it's where you pull out a video camera and you put that on the internet forever. Again, this kid, has that on the internet, in their archive. Even if they were to delete the video, someone's got it, right? She could be a lawyer at 25 for all you know, after the Ace Family YouTube channel dies. You know, she could be want, want to be a lawyer and not be taken seriously because there's this sort of shit on the internet. I really do question whether family channels really think of the longevity of how this could affect their children in lots of situations. I will get into that in a second. One more point I want to cover um, before I really get into the meat of why I disagree with family channels. This specific point isn't just aimed at the Ace family, so these last two points cover a lot of influencers, and I'm talking big and small. Vacationing during a pandemic. I've seen Instagrammers of like, I don't know, 20,000 subscribers be like, oh yeah, we couldn't go to Bali in January um, because of lockdown, the new travel restrictions, therefore we're looking to book for hopefully March. And I'm like, why would you even consider traveling anywhere. I know I'm probably gonna die on this pedestal. I've got a lot to say about the pandemic and I think I need to make a separate video about it because I could be here for 10 years. But especially with vacationing, unnecessary travel. Why does your life matter more than anyone else's? Catherine starts talking about how hard it is to make content and be a YouTuber during COVID. It's been hard as hell making videos since the pandemic started. Imagine being a multimillionaire that gets to sit at home and record their kids playing and makes hundreds of thousands of dollars a month just from that. The Ace family have officially gone on vacation in the middle of a pandemic. We're going on a trip. Not only did they travel with people in their household, but judging by the vlog, it looks like they traveled with multiple people from multiple households. I appreciate holidays are nice, they're great for your mental health and all that kind of stuff. The more people travel, the more this virus is gonna travel. The longer we're all gonna have to stay away from our families, our friends, our co-workers, the lo longer the businesses are staying closed, the people's livelihoods are being ripped away, the more people are getting re made redundant, more people are dying. Nurses and doctors have been working like so many long hours for such a long time. And these influencers are saying they've got it hard. But I'm sorry, I just don't feel bad for you. Especially people like the fucking Ace family, Hannah Mojo, Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio, TikTokers, Instagrammers, YouTubers. I know they're all from LA, so therefore, apparently nothing else fucking matters. And they're the most important thing in the fucking world, according to them. The world does not revolve around you. I thought this before. Literally half of my family has now had COVID. And 
I can count my family on one hand. I have five living members of my family. If anything had happened to those people, nobody should have to lose a parent, a sister, a brother, a father, because you have to have a fucking holiday. And what's worse as well, it's not just COVID. The more that hospitals are overrun, and this is something that Dr. Mike said at the start, even though I've lost respect for Dr. Mike, considering the shit that he pulled. I still agree with one of the first statements he made, was that, what happens if there's a car accident? What happens if your family member is tri needs treatment for cancer? If the hospitals are overrun, where the fuck are they meant to go? This virus doesn't just affect people who have it. It is everybody. It is everybody's responsibility to be responsible in a pandemic. And the people that aren't, these are the people that need to be fucking woken up. Sorry, I know that was a lot. I can't help it. I have a lot to say about the pandemic. There are some of us that are making extreme sacrifices. I haven't seen my family in months. I spent Christmas alone. Not like just with like one person. I spent it completely on my own. Just me and Casper. That's the first Christmas I've ever spent in 31 years, ever, on my own. Actually, it's the third I've spent single. It was hard, but I did it. Sacrificed a lot. I don't understand why people just can't travel when it's safe. That's all people are asking for. Difficult, but try and stay at home, exercise, keep yourself busy. This could have been over sooner if people just weren't so fucking selfish. Last thing on family channels. There is some really, really good videos about what's wrong with family channels. I'll make sure to link them below. Things I don't agree with with family channels. These kids having their life on, on YouTube, on the internet for the rest of their lives. Like, they can't take that back. But also, there's two additional points I want to raise. The first is that there's no law around children on YouTube being paid for their work or the amount of hours they can work for. So obviously YouTube is like a job, right? Vlogging is now a job for all of these vloggers. For child actors, they're only legally allowed to work a specific amount of hours per day. And also when they do work, there has to be a fund where all of the money goes into that they have access to when they're 18. Or at least like a percentage of the money, right, goes into for when they're 18. There's no law on YouTube that protects these children's rights. Therefore, these kids aren't getting anything from being in any of these videos. What does a child of 2, 5, 8, 12, what do they get from being on the these YouTube channels. A lot of them actually don't get friends. Their life is everywhere. It doesn't seem like they have much privacy. And what's worse is that, again, in for like child actors, there's a minimum age child can be. So for instance, where, where you see like babies in hospital wards in t on television, um, and the reason why babies are obviously bigger than they would be um, if someone had actually physically just had a baby in a pregnancy scene is because you're not allowed to have like a, an hour old baby televised laws to protect children that's not the case with youtube because literally there's a camera in front of this kid's face with quite a few of these the second that kid pops out the fucking womb they'll have pregnancy logs all the way along and then they'll have like the birthday one and the second that this kid is born, they're on camera. It's just so wrong. Money is too big a pull for these YouTubers, for quite a few of them anyway, that their kids come second. How they feel, their time with them. It's really disappointing and disturbing in a way. These kids' childhoods are kind of tainted. And now I have no friends. You can play with friends. No, like I don't have friends. I don't have friends either. I don't even know where they live. <laughs> They're pretty far away. So? How do you feel about not having any friends? Sucks, but I don't feel safe or accepted in any friend groups. I've seen this with like, I think it's eight passengers. She punishes her kids. Took away this kid's 
bed and make, made him sleep in a beanbag for like eight months. The fact that he was made to sleep in a beanbag chair for seven months as punishment for telling his little brother they were going to Disneyland as a prank. Apparently, he woke his little brother up super early in the morning and made him pack a suitcase claiming they were leaving for Disney soon. Ruby then cuts in and says that wasn't the only reason his bed was removed. Apparently, he also left his brother hanging off of a basketball net, unable to get down, and was laughing at him. To me, this kind of just sounds like harmless pranks between fighting brothers. When their son got home from wilderness therapy, he didn't come home to a nice bed. He was made to sleep on the floor in a sleeping bag, and he also had the door to his bathroom removed. Which, could I just say, that's really harmful to a growing child's skeleton. She used the... Oh, well, in, when he went to military school, whatever it was, for that summer camp or something, only gave him, like, the, minim the minimal stuff. It's like, there's minimal, especially for a short period of time, and there's, like, child abuse. They punished him for, I think he, he told his kid brother or something that, oh, yeah, we're going to Disneyland tomorrow. So he pranked his brother. And he got punished for like eight months. Every time they want to talk to their mum about something really personal, she pulls out the video camera. These are kids when they're sick, crying, having important conversations that should be off camera, taking trips to the dentist, and having problems with acne. She also has a bunch of videos talking about puberty and periods with her kids, showing them in the thumbnail and most likely embarrassing them. And Julie has been asking all summer if she can shave her legs and armpits. And I, I never said that. I, I, I don't want to. Go you don't? No. Let me see. Do you, when you start getting BO. She also thought to film that, again, six, seven year old kid didn't make her school lunch, and therefore, because she'd done it too many times and forgotten, she wasn't going to bring her food, and she made sure to tell the teacher, don't give her any food because she needs to be punished. The six-year-old forgot to pack herself her lunch and was at school hungry with nothing to eat. Even the teacher had to text Ruby asking if she could bring something in for her for lunch. Instead of being concerned for her young daughter, she says to the vlog that she hopes no one shares their lunch with her to teach her some sort of sick lesson. And just remember, this kid is literally six years old. I know that her teacher is uncomfortable with her being hungry and not having a lunch and it would ease her discomfort if I came to the school with a lunch um, but I I responded and just said Eve is responsible for making her lunches in the morning so the natural outcome is she's just going to need to be hungry and hopefully hopefully nobody gives her food and nobody steps in and gives her a lunch she was trying to make the ch child go hungry for eight hours can I just say one of the reasons why it's so important that a child has a lunch especially children, I mean, even adults, you can't function. You work better, obviously, on a full stomach because otherwise you're distracted. Your energy will start to deplete and therefore you're not gonna do your best work. Therefore, it's not just she's being punished, her work is going to suffer. There are so many bad things about family channels. They really do take advantage of their kids. They don't think about how this could affect them. They don't protect them. I think YouTube really needs to look at their laws, but I know that I know they won't even consider it because family channels make a shitload of money for YouTube. And I've mentioned this before, YouTube only cares about the bottom line. I mentioned it in this video. They're child friendly, right? That's all YouTube cares about. I'm sorry it got a little heated towards the end. I get very passionate about these things. I can't help it, I can't help it. Um, if you did enjoy <laughs> this video, please give this a like and subscribe if you feel like it. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, I've got a list of creators that I want to get through. Um, Tanner, Jeffree Star. Um, I will be reviewing the Onision documentary and going over everything that's happened over the last, like, there's a, like 10 years worth of information though, so I'm going to have to again kind of shorten it a bit. That'll probably be a two-parter as well. I have quite a few thoughts on the Onision documentary, so if you want to see that, please make sure you subscribe, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!